Oral staff are currently working on a grant-funded project to process and photograph 10,000 boxes of rock core. Here is Gordon Dow to explain how he determines lithology in the first steps of our process. Once I receive the core from the warehouse, it's placed upon the rack here, and the boxes are opened. Uh, from here, I can start to do the lithologies. Lithologies is uh, the basic makeup of the rock. Uh, I look for four major things. Uh, one is color, two is the grain size, three is acidity, and four is hardness. Um, here, I have a light colored rock with a larger grain size. Uh, I'm going to do an acidity test on it here. I get a high reaction to acid here. And here, I have two different colored rocks, both fine grain samples. I do the acidity test. I get a heavy reaction to acid in my light colored sample. On my darker sample, I barely get an acidity reaction. This is because the carbon content in my lighter sample is higher than it is in my darker sample here. Now the next test that I do is the hardness test. From here I take a steel plate. I can scratch on the outside of this vein. And as you can see, I'm able to scratch the rock with my steel plate. Now when I go to scratch the vein, the vein is a lot harder and I'm unable to scratch it because it leaves the steel on the material here, which is chert. Okay. The next thing I look for is key feature, features in the core. Here I have a calcite filled mineral vein. And down here I have a gastropod, which I use a hand lens to help me see what it is. A uh, gastropod is an ancient snail. And once this is completed, once all the lithologies are finished, uh, it's recorded into the database. And this puts us one step closer to our photography section. And here is our photographer, Natalie Fields, to talk about our photography workstation. Core photography starts with studio setup. We have fixed lighting, black background, and an adjustable shelf with a color card and ruler. The camera is set directly above and is height adjustable. When photographing core, we slide the first core sample box under the camera, adjust the shelf and camera, making sure the core is centered and fills the view area. The first picture is taken dry, then for the second picture we mist the core lightly with water to view the core wet. We do this to be able to see the core in detail without the dust and mud clouding our view. We label each picture with identifying information, then the sample is returned to the warehouse to be archived. This designated workflow allows us to create consistent, high-quality photographs which are edited and placed in a template with all of the gathered data for the specific core and core box. These templates are then uploaded to the KGS website for public viewing.